it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace and today we are checking out Dimas Senopati covering Aerosmith's Dream On. So this is the first time I've checked out Dimas. I'm really interested to see how this goes. I tried to look up a little information on him. It looks like he's from Indonesia and he's been doing this for about five years or so. At least according to his YouTube channel, like that was the one of the oldest videos was about five years. So that's about all the information I got. If y'all have any information, definitely drop it in the comments. I would love to learn about this artist. But yeah, I'm interested to check this out. So I said we go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Yo. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Dimas Senopati, Dream On. Here we go. So far, I'm not disappointed. Like he had a little bit of rasp just for a portion of it. And he, he's got a, a slightly elevated singing voice. So I, I'm i expecting that he's gonna be able to hit the really high notes that Steven Tyler does for the song. And I'm really looking forward to that. I also saw that this is an acoustic version, so no drums or anything like that. But we do have a couple of other people on the instruments. And it, it kind of reminds me of Dan Vask who like, he, he does his thing and then he collaborates with all these other musical artists on the internet. I think this is really similar to that. And I, I hope I don't butcher any names, so I do apologize in advance, but Ajang Kusuma on keyboard and then Jafar Ahmed on guitar. And I think they're doing a great job as well, especially Jafar with the way he's playing the guitar. Like he's doing like a couple of tricks and stuff and I'm, I'm really liking his, his guitar style. And even like the strings, they have like a slightly different sound than what I'm used to hearing. And I think it's it's awesome. And I'm looking at where they're at. They actually might all be in the same room because like they're, it's the same decoration on the walls. They could just be in like using different camera angles. I'm not 100% sure. I thought maybe at first that they were all in different locations, but now I'm not so sure. And I do see a guitar next to Dimas, so I don't know if he's going to play during this performance or not. I also don't know if he does play. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of excited to find out. So I say we go ahead and get back to it. So here we go. Half my life's in books written pages Live and learn from fools and from Satan
<laughs> he nailed it. Like he he hit the the same notes that Steven Tyler hit. I, I feel like, and like he he's able to hold notes when he was holding that note and and screaming. Like he was even leaning back a little bit, and he was able to keep that same volume by just doing that. And when he was like dancing and doing the air guitar, like y'all can't see it, but I'm always doing that when I'm when I'm reacting to stuff. Like I'm always like keeping to the beat or playing guitar or something. So like I, I I can definitely relate to that, <laughs> and that keyboard technique that he did like I thought that was that was a great technique, and and Jafar doing the the chords and like these these little 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 things that just like added to the performance I I thought were great, and just these like different things that Dimas is doing during this performance with his voice I I think are great they're adding to the song and I I think they did a great job with this cover and it is fantastic as an acoustic song and the mic arm that he's using is like it's it's taller than he is like that thing is huge like that that's so cool to see because like i have a mic arm too but mine's like mine's screwed into the wall and like this is as far as it goes so it's it's really cool to see something like that and i guess the only thing i'm kind of bummed about if they are in the same room i kind of wish we'd gotten like a zoom out shot to see all three of them together but i i really cannot tell but i feel like they have the same decor on the wall so i i don't really know but yeah i definitely like this performance i definitely would not mind checking out some more dmos if y'all have any suggestions or anything i should know about definitely drop them in the comments below would love to check those out don't forget to like and subscribe it's cool it's free it tells me i'm doing the right thing going in the right direction all those good things don't forget to check out the description of the video as well there's a lot of cool things in there all my socials are in there you can go over there and say hi hello the release schedule, I always drop on the socials a couple days early, so if you want to sneak peek at what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel, getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me a Coffee link. Each request is only $5 and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag DMAS. I think that's it for this reaction. I'll check you out the next one. Bye, guys.